Phillips screwdriver has a cross shaped blade. It's used for many different things, pretty universal. Some safety tips are obviously don't poke yourself, don't use it as a punch, and make sure the tip is sharp and clean so you get the best grip on whatever you're unscrewing. Um, needle nose pliers have long thin jaws that are good to reach in small spaces. They also have, some of them have spot that you can cut small wires with in here. They're good for bending small wires and especially reaching in short places and holding things. Some safety tips are don't pinch yourself, obviously. Don't cut yourself and wear safety glasses when there's potential of a, like a flying object or something like that. So you can bend wires pretty easily on things that would normally slip out of your hands. So just Ball peen hammers have one flat head and one rounded head. They're good for shaping metal and pounding chisels and punches especially. Some safety tips are wearing goggles when there's like potential flying objects. And be careful not to hit yourself obviously. And combination wrenches have one open end and one box end for the open end is for tightening and loosening bolts and nuts and the box ends for tightening and loosening bolts and nuts which you need more leverage and that are harder to take out I guess. Um, some safety tips is always pull the wrench towards yourself when you're working to avoid like pushing it and falling stuff like that and Wear eye safety if necessary. And vice grips or a locking wrench is good for removing broken screws that you can't fit a screwdriver in anymore or clamping small things together that you can't do with your fingers. Some safety tips are obviously don't pinch yourself and wear eye protection if it's necessary. I could use the vice grips to clamp these two pieces of wood together right here just by tightening them and then they're, they'll hold together like that.